Now at 5.30, building a greater Boston. The city signing off on a new field house in Dorchester designed to give kids and their families a safe place to play and learn. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka. I'm Paula Eben. The excitement and the fundraising has been building for more than a year. And as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, the project proposed by the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dorchester, along with the Martin Richard Foundation, will be a transformative space at Harbor Point. It seems now more than ever, kids really need a place to go. A place to escape the world around them. You know, I recall the early 90s, there was a lot going on in the city. And at that time, we said, well, we got to do more. For the Dorchester Boys and Girls Club, that time has returned. On Sunday, a man was shot dead on Geneva Avenue. A week before that, three others were shot on the same street. You know, they really look to us for, for solace and guidance and, and opportunities. Bob Scandal is the president and CEO of the Dorchester Boys and Girls Club. Kids in Dorchester, my goodness, sometimes they get a bad rap. That's for next week? Okay. We get to see all the positive stories here, and, and, and they're countless. He remembers when they first built their center on Dorchester Avenue. It was at a time when people were fleeing Dorchester and the city. This week, the Boston Planning and Zoning Board gave the final approval on a new 75,000 square foot field house. It's a joint effort between the Boys and Girls Club and the Martin Richard Foundation. Check out this map. The new building will be located right here on this arrow on Mount Vernon Street. And when it's all done, it's going to look like that. Indoor turf fields, uh, basketball courts, they had a teaching kitchen. We're providing STEM programming, dance, swim, athletics. Queenette Santos is the VP of Youth Teen Programming. Out of everything that might have happened on their way, they know that when they come through that door, I'm going to be the silliest person that they see. The hope is this new center will further provide teens that necessary outlet, perhaps even neighborhood pride. Sometimes they just need that hug. They just need that staff to say, you know, it's going to be okay. In Dorchester, I'm Mike Sullivan. WBZ News.